Hey, what's up? Today I have Chocolate Brown. Hi. And he brought some snacks. What'd you bring? Oh, man. I bought some hood snacks from 7-Eleven. Uh, I got some Jack Links, peanuts, three different types of cheeses. Cheese in different forms. In different forms. And yeah. There's sticks. Got some baby bells. Boop, boop, boop. Old lady snacks. Werther's. Original. Caramel candies. The piece de resistance. Lifesavers gummies. Collisions. That's two flavors in one. Wow. You know, when I was a little kid is when they came out with the Lifesavers gummies. It was a big deal. It was like groundbreaking when they could gummify Lifesavers. Lifesavers. Oh. And we have some coconut water. Yes. And I have a confession. I've never had coconut water before. Never? No. Oh, man. I'm about to pop this top. Pop the top, bro, because that is some of the best coconut water you will right. ever taste ever. It tastes like uh, Tropical Island. That's right, because yeah. it's from the Tropical <laughs> Island. All right, man. So what do you got going on musically? Right now. Musically, I am creating music with my homeboy, uh, Solomon Aphonic. He's my producer. Mm -hmm. uh, we are making an R&B album right now, my first R&B album. So will there be any rapping on it at all? Is it just going to yeah, be... Yeah, probably be some rapping on it, uh -huh. you know, because I'm known for the raps. But right. uh, lately, I've just been singing, singing my butt off. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. What's the origin of the name Chocolate Brown? When I was in band class, I was probably like a junior in high school. Um, my bandmate, Jackie, who sat right next to me, had recently changed her hair color. And I looked at it, I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, what is that? Is that like eggplant or something like that? <laughs> she was like, eggplant? Oh, no, this is totally chocolate brown. And I was like, oh, cool. She was like, yo, we should totally call you that. <laughs> I was just like, uh. And your dad is a musician yeah, as well. He's like dad. a really badass saxophone player. Yeah, it's pretty good. And you guys play together at Harlem Nights, right? Yes, we do. Yeah. We played together uh, for the first time. And Harlem Nights is a, is a club uptown. Yeah, it's yeah. a club uptown on... um. Was at a uh, 139th Street and Adam Clayton Powell Boulevard. My mom is a singer too, so that's where yeah. I get my voice from. Is from my yeah. mom. You're also a huge geek. You're like big into Star Wars. How do you feel about the way Disney is treating the franchise at the moment? The Force Awakens, I thought, was a great start. Um, a lot of people say, you know, it's just like it's it's fan service and it's it's just like a rehash of Episode Four. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, it's, it's definitely true, but it also has its, it has different story elements to it. We gotta eat a snack. Yeah. We haven't even snacked. Uh, yeah, we totally We had so much to talk about. <laughs> what, I'm gonna go, see, I'm a, I love beef jerky, so I'm gonna go for the... Jerky is a shit. That's... See, and I like um, getting, like, the boutique jer jerkies, because what ends up happening, yes. if you go to CVS, there's, like, the fancy, like, $8 jerky, but eventually no one buys it, so they mark it down exactly. all the time. Exactly. No one ever buys $8 jerky for $8. No. I didn't take into account how chewy it is and dude, how long it's going to take me to chew this dude, piece of meat. I love mixing yes. Yes. beef jerky with string cheese, like, cheese and meat go together. You take your jerky... Mm. Get your cheese. If you want to be real creative, you can wrap it around like mm -hmm. this. Yeah. And then, you know, you take away. And then, boom. You got yourself a teriyaki and cheese jerky sandwich kebab thing. Thank you so much for coming by. Thanks, Thanks man. Thanks for the snacks. Thanks for having me. All right. Mm -hmm. Peace out. Enjoy. And we can do whatever we can anytime.